Okay, this is a video step-by-step -step process of how to set up and also a run-through of your True Coach app to receive your programming from me. Now, if you haven't already, you would have received an email from me under the name of True Coach inviting you to an accept an invitation. What you need to do is click on the email and this will take you to this page. What you then do is press accept invitation from here and once you've clicked that one, it will take you to this page here where you set up your name, you fill your name, all your details out as well. You will also be given an opportunity to set up your password uh, as well, so you can have you create your own account as well. So this is what you will need to fill out. Your whole of your name, your location, email settings as well in this position here. Make sure you have email me my daily workout, email my missed workouts, and also email me when my coach has commented and as well. So this just keeps you in the loop from here. Once you've collected all that, what you do, you will select uh, update profile. And once you have done that, it will take you to your home page, which looks a little bit like this. Now what you can see here on this page here, we've got the calendar, messenger as well, and this is your basic information here. For now, all you need to worry about is this portion here. We've got upcoming workouts and we've got past workouts. So any workouts that you have outstanding to do, they will be in the upcoming. And these are on dates. So after the date, it will not be shown in upcoming. It will be shown in past. So if you've missed any, you will come back and you can see your past workouts that you've A, have completed and ones B that you haven't as well will all be in here as well. Um, so what you do, this will be either on your laptop or your phone or iPad, you will click on view workout. Now what this is going to do is take you to your workout and it will look something like this depending on what device you are on. You will have a warm up here with some warm up exercises with the sets and reps and then you will have your workout exercises down below. Now, if you are on a phone, what you will see, for example, is A, push bias, dumbbell bench press, and straight arm pull downs as an example of your exercises, and underneath will show the videos. You'll just be able to see them, and you can click on them. However, if you're on a laptop, you won't be able to. They will be highlighted underneath here, okay? All you need to do is click on one of these, and this will take you to the video of the exercise above, so you can view it if you are unsure. Once you have done all three sets of said exercise, what you would do is click enter results. Now what you need to do is fill out the weights that you did and the repetition. So for example, you did four times eight on bench at 10 kilos from that. You would then do the same for the band of pull downs, if, for example, um, and you can write any comments as well. You can write too hard, too easy, etc., etc. From there, once you have wrote your comments in, you are able to upload a photo or a video as well if you are unsure on anything. Now, you can upload these straight from your phone if you need to. If you filmed your set, um, you all you need to do is collect upload from camera, it will select your library and then it will upload normally. But for the most of the time, you won't be needing to do that. You will only need to do that if I have requested that. Once you have filled this out, the most important part is, is you collect this little, click this little arrow here or this pen here until it goes green. Okay, that means you've completed that exercise. Then make sure that go as you go through the whole session, you are filling out everything on here and pressing all the greens across. Okay, if you don't press the green across, you can still move on and finish the workout, but it will have an X and I will take that as you haven't done that exercise. So make sure you've done everything so I know exactly what you've done. So when I program you again for the next week, I can see that you've done everything and you haven't missed anything. Once you finish the workout, just double check that you've ticked everything on the page and then come down to update results. Now this will save your session and it will save all your data. Make sure you press this. If you don't and you leave the app, it will leave it as blank and it will say that you've missed the workout. Um, so make sure you click update results. You can also write any questions or any comments on this on the um, session that you have. 
underneath. So if it was if it took too long, um, what you're unsure of, the more information you put on here, the more I can help. And when you do that, when I look at that, it will tell me the comments that you have made and I can adjust that going forward for your programming. So here we go, once you press update results, it has been complete. And now that will go into your past workouts. Any new workouts you want to see, you just need to click on upcoming in this position here, and this will take you to your next workout. As you can see at the moment, I haven't updated any um, programming just yet, so you will see this. Okay, you, 